What is going on guys and welcome back to the Fitment Industries YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. As you can see behind me, we have an ND Miata and in my hands here, this is a set of ST coilovers. We're going to put these ST coilovers on this Miata. We're going to bring that stance down. We're going to make it a little bit more aggressive. We're going to make it handle a little bit better, but most importantly, we're going to teach you guys the essentials of putting on a set of coilovers in your car so you can do it yourself. This is installing coilovers for dummies. Do something cool. So first things first, we're gonna get a couple things done that are easier to do while the car's on the ground so we don't have to go up and down with it a bunch of times. And that is gonna be taking out the whole entire trunk liner. There's a bunch of plastic clips you need to get out so you can get access to the top bolts of the struts to drop everything once we get it up in the air. And while they're working on that trunk liner, I'm gonna go ahead and break loose the wheel lugs again so it's easier once we get it up in the air. Oh yeah, proper torque spec makes it nice and easy. All right, so now that the liner's out of the trunk, there's a couple other things we need to get out of the way. We've got this big heat shield here that's covering the filler neck and some other stuff back here. We gotta take that out to get access to those strut bolts on top over here. There's another little bracket in there we might have to take off just to make it a little easier to work on, but uh, let's get that stuff off so we can get this thing in the air. Now that we've got everything loose and kind of ready to go and get this car up in the air to get the wheels off, we're going to show you guys where some of the jack points are so you guys can do this at home. So you're going to want to grab a jack, some jack stands, or if you're nice enough to have a lift, if you come under here and look at your pinch welds, you'll see a couple spots probably under here that are doubled up and that's going to be for extra support from your jack stand or your lift so you can use that. A lot of times on modern vehicles, you will have an arrow kind of pointing where it needs to go. Sometimes you'll even see little rubber pads under here that you guys can get on. So make sure you guys are doing this safe. Use jack stands, please. And uh, let's get these wheels off and get started on the suspension. So we went and found out what tools we need for this job. And as you can see here, there's not actually a whole lot. You can really get this job done with just a basic toolkit that's not very expensive that you can really kind of get online. Power tools are a plus, but they are not needed. Let's go take this thing apart. So first things first, visual inspection. You're gonna wanna get in here and kind of see how, you know, your suspension works and where it's all connected. So first thing I see is we got a single bolt at the bottom of the strut. There's gonna be, I think, three on top. The sway bar is connected to the lower control arm. We're gonna to have to undo that. And then probably most importantly, you're gonna to wanna to get any lines out of the way that you might stretch. So to get started with this, we're gonna actually disconnect the hardware for the ABS line. All right, real quick tip for you guys. If you wanna absolutely remember where your hardware goes, you don't wanna lose anything, put the hardware back where you found it and they can't lose it. And now it's safe. So now we're gonna disconnect the sway bar at the sway bar link. The reason we're doing that is the sway bar is actually gonna hold the control arms together and we don't want that. We wanna get that control arm to swing nice and low so we can get that strut out of there. So inevitably we have to take that apart. So I guess let's just go ahead and do that. There we go. Yeah, wiggle, wiggle. So now that we got the sway bar end link off, we're gonna go ahead and hit the bottom bolt on the strut. I think we're gonna leave the bolt in, but we're gonna take the nut off and then kind of reassess from there. On this particular car, we do need to unbolt the mounting points of the upper control arm. And we're kind of gonna do the same thing we did with the bottom strut, but only with one bolt. So we're gonna disassemble the hardware. We're gonna take one bolt completely out and we're gonna leave one in until we're ready to do the full disassembly. that's out of the threads, but we're gonna leave it in there for now. And then I think we're gonna move up top and get those bolts loose and see what we got going on up there. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit so we can get started on the top. Yeah. All right, so 
visual scanning. Again, we got three bolts on the top, but that's also housing a bracket for some computer stuff. And then we have one of these intake noise to the interior things. Anyway, this stuff has to come off. We got two 10 mils here. Get that out of the way. We're gonna get these off and then we're gonna drop the whole assembly and then probably take that nut out of the bottom of that strut. And then I think it's ready to come out and get the other one in there. Oh, we don't have like the fancy clamp for this. Clamp? Ow. Well, I can get in there like this. You know, put the hardware back on the thing and then you don't lose it, you know? All right, now I think we're gonna pull it down and then we're gonna pull the hardware out of our control arms that we left in there. And then that control I'm gonna pull out. And then we should be able to get this low enough. We gotta lift it up. That's scary, watch your paint. Push this down. You're gonna wanna get the bottom up and over, and then you'll have enough leverage to carefully pull out your stock strut. Now in this particular application with this particular set of coilovers, we do have to transfer over the top hat. So we're gonna put this thing in a spring compressor, undo this nut, pull the top off, put it on the coilover, and then we're ready to go back in. So you've got your stock suspension out and you gotta open your brand new coilover box, but these aren't ready to go in yet. What you're gonna to wanna to do first is make sure the ride height is kind of even front to back. These will be set from the factory with a pretty safe ride height. I wouldn't suggest lowering the car until you get them in, see where it's at first. Either way, on this set of coilovers, we don't have an adjustable body, so you will be adjusting ride height by this perch here, but that is going to affect your shock travel length. If you do have adjustable damping, you're gonna to wanna to kind of set that in the middle. If you've got 30 clicks of adjustment, say, on a set of BC Racing coilovers, set it to 15, again, adjust that later. Adjusting preload's pretty important too. Really, all preload is gonna do is make it so that when you jack your car off the ground, your spring's not gonna go floating around anywhere. Um, so you can see this is just barely tight here. You can move this spring by hand. The preload is adjusted separately on something with the, with the adjustable shock body, but this one doesn't have that. So this thing's pretty much ready to go in once we make sure it's level with the other side. All right, so now it's pretty much just putting everything back together in reverse order. We're gonna stick this in through the hole. We're gonna line it up, get it in the thing, probably put the hardware in here, but not tighten it yet. And then I'm gonna have the hands of a trusty, a trusty assistant over there. An extra hand's always helpful so that we can get this set up in and he can start these threads so that he can hold it up. If I was doing this by myself, it'd probably weigh itself down, it'd be really hard. So let's put this thing in. Ah, there it is. It's so sweaty. All right, so now that we got the front all put together, we're gonna move out to the back. I'm gonna put some support under the suspension and then I'm actually gonna take the nuts off the top and then I'm gonna come out and lower it down and do what I need to do under here. Uh, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Well, that was easy. Didn't even have to undo that stupid quarter inch round sway bar, which probably doesn't do anything anyway. Moving on to the back, we're gonna double check again, kind of that height adjustment and that preload, make sure the spring's not wiggling around all loosey goosey. We're gonna make sure the thread counts are the same, kind of back to back. I like to use a little tool like this and then I can audibly count the threads. Um, it helps me count in my head. Uh, yeah, that's about it. These things look good, so let's get this thing on. And then I think next time, you know, in a couple minutes, we're gonna see this thing on the ground. Bye. Now, before we want this in, I did want to point out something. Sometimes from the factory, your stock strut will have like a nut welded to the other side and then this bolt will go through and thread into it. As you can see, this one clearly doesn't have that. So ST has provided us with new hardware to make that installation correct and ultimately easier. So, uh, you know, reverse, reverse the thing and uh, it'll be done in a couple minutes. It's three bolts. right here we have our pair of nuts. We just gotta put them on and then literally check it back up, double check everything, make sure it's all torqued. Get the wheels on, we're gonna roll this thing outside and check it out. We got the driver's side all done. We're gonna go ahead and mimic everything that we just did on the passenger side. Then we're gonna get that trunk liner in. And I think we're all buttoned up, ready to get this thing on the ground. So next time you guys see this thing, 
it's gonna be done. So as you can tell by the wardrobe change, it is the next day and the Miata is done. We got those ST coilovers on this thing. We brought the looks up by bringing the ride height down and this thing's gonna handle a little bit better as well. So if you guys wanna take your ride to the next level, you guys know where to go, wheels, and tires, and suspension at fitmanindustries.com. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you guys learned anything today. I will see you later. Peace.